Cleanliness is next to godliness. That's what my mom told me. And when everyone out, she'd always say, make sure you wash behind your ears in case you have an accident. God forbid they should find me on the road with dirty ears. Keeping clean is really important. I think when I'm showered and shaved and brush my teeth and polish my shoes, I feel like a million bucks. Unless I got a backache, but still I feel better. It's like when you wash your car, it seems to run better. Well, if you keep your guitar maintained, it seems to play better. Guitars get dirty just like anything else does. If you ever go into a room and there's rays of sunlight coming and just look and you can see particles of dust floating through the air in any place you go. Hello, particles. Anyway, that's dirt. If your guitar is damp or wet or has perspiration on it, those little particles are going to adhere to your guitar. The moisture comes from our skin, from our fingers, from our arms. Sometimes we sweat on our instruments. I notice in a lot of guitars that I do repairs on, people who sing, there's little droplets, spray droplets, from when they're singing, they're, they're giving off these little droplets of water. Keeping the guitar clean. Number one, it feels like it plays better because it does play better. Now start at the top of the headstock, okay? The thing that can get dirty on the headstock is just everyday dust and grime. If somebody splashes something like a cup of coffee on it or anything foreign, we want to wipe it off, all right? Now, I'm not going to encourage you to use water, but if you have a really, really super, super light, damp cloth, excessively light, you could conceivably wipe something that's spilled on the instrument off. Make sure you get it all off, though. The only thing that builds up dirt in the back of the tuning machines is grease. These are all lubricated. These tuners are called closed tuners. Some tuners are open tuners. You actually can see the gear, and they have gear grease on them. Sometimes that'll collect dirt, and that'll make it hard to turn the gear. So what we do with those, you get an old toothbrush, and we just brush the gears, get the old grease off, and maybe put one drop of Vaseline, or they have products now that they sell, which you don't necessarily need to get, lubricants, specifically for a guitar. That's not true. We sell uh -huh. guitar polish in our store. And we have one that's made by the Martin Guitar Corporation. Now, one day a fellow came in and said, um, I'd like to buy some guitar polish, but that says Martin. Can I use that on my Gibson? I said, yeah, you can use it on your Cadillac if you want, okay? Headstock. Keep it clean so the tuning machines can turn freely. If the tuning machines loosen up, there's little teeny screws that hold them in place. They should be tight. If the screw keeps turning, take the screw out, take a toothpick, stick it in the hole, break it off and put the screw back in. That'll tighten it up. Okay? The next thing is the fretboard. That probably gets more dirt than anything else because our hands, with perspiration and just soil that we pick up from everyday doing things, is going to build up on either side of the fret wires. You can actually see the build up. You can see the build up on the fretboard itself. Fretboards need to be clean and smooth and maybe once or twice a year oiled. There are all sorts of oils for oiling a fretboard. We just want it ever so little because as the wood dries out, it'll crack and you don't want the fretboard to crack, but you don't want so much oil on that it's going to attract these particles and dirt. Again, what we're going to do when we're finished playing, we're going to take our cloth, just wipe down the fretboard like that. It'll get the majority of the dirt off the strings, which will also prolong the string life. Oxidation is rusting. People who perspire, sometimes uh, our pH in our body is more acidic and more basic than others. We could actually corrode strings where they'll rust prematurely. The top of the guitar, the part that gets the dirtiest is right here where our arm is, and over here where we pick down our hands brush. That's gotta be kept clean. Again, when we're done playing the guitar, ever so slightly, just rub it off, wipe it down, and get whatever buildup of perspiration, whatever else is on there. Once in a while, to put a little bit of luster back in the instrument, we might take a little bit of guitar polish and put a little bit on a cloth. And starting at the top, we would do the back of the headstock, the front, mm -hmm. the back of the neck, which gets a buildup also of, of dirt. And then the sides and the back and the front. Let it dry for five minutes and wipe it off another clean cloth. There are cloths that are sold at music stores. We have 
we have little yellow ones which are really, really soft and they don't scratch the finish at all. Okay, so the simplest maintenance technique is just wipe it down when you're done playing. That is the best advice for keeping your instrument clean. If you have any questions about products, cleaning instruments, or maybe you think your instrument is unique or different, don't hesitate to give me a call or drop me a line. Guitar finishes range from lacquer to polyurethane to water-based urethane to shellac to oil finishes. They're all different and they all react differently to polishes. Some finishes you get a buildup of polish, it'll actually start to deteriorate the finish. Shellac is a tough finish to maintain. Most of the finishes you're going to get are going to be lacquer or polyurethane, whether it's water-based or oil-based. Again, any questions, feel free to write or call.